Farmer Joe coming at you fresh from the field. So today's uh, video is on starting seeds and choosing what are you going to grow in your garden, right? Because there are so many different things that you can grow. Here at Ottawa Farm Fresh, we grow 35 different types of vegetables, over 150 different varieties in total. And so it can get a little mind boggling. Where do you start? So the first question that you need to ask yourself is, is this a plant that's going to uh, regrow when I harvest it? Is it the type of thing where I can cut and come again, right? So for instance, tomatoes, zucchinis, cucumbers, chard, uh, salad mix. These are things that when you cut it, it'll regrow. Or if you pick a tomato, there'll be another one growing. That's a really good thing to grow if you have, don't have a lot of space. As opposed to something like a beet or a carrot, where once you harvest that carrot, that's it. No carrot's going to grow in that space anymore. And so my sense is if you have a limited amount of space, you want to be focusing on stuff that has a extended harvest window. So stuff like, like I mentioned, tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchinis, eggplants, peppers, uh, you know, some of the herbs that you can cut and they regrow, the greens, kale, Swiss chard, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's the first thing to wonder, to ask yourself is how much space do I have and one of the things about space that I find is people often have a tendency to, to try to cram as much in as possible. But it's really important that each plant has enough space to grow. That each plant has enough space, uh, space to fully develop, both in terms of sunlight, but also in terms of soil, in terms of penetrating their roots into the soil and getting access to everything that they need. So I would really recommend following a, a planting chart and really, you know, don't think, oh, I'm going to triple the seeding density and that's going to get me three times as much something. No, it's probably going to get you nothing. There are some exceptions, but as a general rule of thumb, I'd, I'd go with that. Um, the other thing to consider is, is it something that's direct seeded or transplanted? So some crops are direct seeded, which means that you put the seed directly in the soil. So for instance, carrots and beets, cilantro, those are crops that you're going to seed directly in the garden. The other side is transplanted. So these are crops that you would grow uh, in a greenhouse or inside with some additional lighting in order to produce a transplant and then plant it out in the garden. The point of doing that is essentially to get a head start on the season. You're planting a larger plant, so for instance a tomato, you're planting it six weeks ahead of time inside so by the time um, you get to you know late May when there's no more frost, you can plant outside where you're not starting from zero. You're starting already with a big vigorous plant. The other point of growing transplants is to get a head start on insects diseases and weeds. So when you plant a big, let's say a cucumber, right? If you plant just a little cucumber seed, you can do that. But if those little cotyledons come up and a cucumber beetle comes by, eat it up, done, boom. As opposed to if you're planting a, a plant that already has two to three true leaves on it, it's gonna be a lot better adapted and more resistant to whatever insects might come along. Um, it's important to grow plants that are vigorous and fast growing and have enough light that is key so if you have a beautiful well-lit space or if you have some additional lighting well by all means go for it um, if not i would recommend buying your plants from somewhere ideally somewhere organic ideally somewhere like nudge nudge wink wink right here you know what i mean now so we are growing plants so if you want plants uh stay posted uh, so keep anyway we'll send more information out uh but the key to, to to looking for plants is that you want plants that are generally short and stocky not like a long big old stretchy tomato plant you want something that's really short and stocky and vigorous and a nice green color uh not pale and um yeah so that's the basics of it one thing to watch out for if you're starting your plants at home is don't plant it too soon for instance tomatoes it's six weeks before your planting date so um your planting date let's say it's late may so that you plant it out when there's no more frost well you count back six weeks from there and that gets you uh, about early April for planting tomatoes. But uh, we'll include some information on, on our social media around uh, you know ideal number of weeks for, for different crops. And just be careful, resist the temptation to plant extra early. I know how tempting it is at this time of year where it's like the snow is starting to melt, it's starting to warm up, and all you want to do is start planting. But hold on, you're better off to have a plant that's really vigorous, that is not root bound, and it's going to just adapt really well to being transplanted out to your garden and taken off. So hope you enjoyed this and until next time, keep growing.